Hi, this is Helena Sheehan and I am vodcasting for Biolog.ie. Now previously I did a vodcast on the cell division and one on mitosis. So just to continue with that chapter, I'm going to have a look at meiosis now. So meiosis. It's a form of cell division. But this time, unlike in mitosis, in mitosis, which was also a form of cell division, there were two daughter cells formed. In meiosis, there is going to be four daughter cells formed. And most importantly, these daughter cells have half the number of chromosomes. So they have half the number of the original cell. So therefore the cells produced by meiosis are genetically different to the cell from which they came. So if this is a cell, let's say this is a human cell which has 46 chromosomes, so the diploid number is 46, that's the full set of chromosomes in humans. If this cell divides by meiosis it will divide into four. And these daughter cells will have half the number of chromosomes as the original cell. So then each of these will have 23. And this is the haploid number in humans. So n equals 23. So meiosis produces four cells which have half the number of chromosomes as the original cell. Now the roles of meiosis Meiosis is involved in sexual reproduction gamete formation so if we have a look at over here at gamete formation if we take once again a diploid human cell so 2n equals 46 46 chromosomes in the nucleus of this cell. When the cell divides by meiosis, then the new cells formed will have 23 chromosomes and we call these gametes or sex cells. Okay, so meiosis is involved in the production of gametes and the reason that gametes have half the number of chromosomes, let's just say this one is an egg cell, When this egg cell combines with a sperm cell, which also has 23 chromosomes in it because it too was formed by meiosis, so the egg cell and the sperm cell combine to form a zygote. And the zygote, 23 plus 23, the zygote will have 46 chromosomes once again. Therefore, meiosis is essential for sexual reproduction in a multicellular organism because if meiosis did not occur, if the gametes had the full set, the 46 chromosomes, then the new individual would have too many chromosomes and that cell would divide and all of the cells in the organism would have too many chromosomes. So meiosis is essential for sexual reproduction, the formation of gametes. Another role of meiosis is variation. It increases variation in the population. So meiosis, as we can see here, this egg cell is genetically different to the cell from which it came. There are half the number of chromosomes, so not, not all of the chromosomes came into the egg cell of this female. 
And in this sperm cell here, there are also half the number of chromosomes. Therefore, the new individual is genetically different from both the mother and the father. The new individual is varied. So not only is meiosis required for the formation of gametes for sexual reproduction, but it also increases genetic variation in the population. And that is meiosis.